It's based on a much more innovative and radical aerodynamic concept. You will note the nose and the front wing concept has changed largely. The wheelbase has been changed, which means that the front axle is moved further forward. This is in order to provide more space for turning elements in order to enhance aerodynamic performance. We also changed the wishbone height uh, to a larger height in order to uh, enhance aerodynamic performance. And as well, we changed the inboard suspension elements to a much more compact and lighter design. Further back to the car, you will see that the bodywork is much more slender. The packaging around the new cooling system is very tight. The design office had put a lot of effort into this. At the back of the car, this time we have the new 2018 Ferrari engine, which will power us, of course, to very good positions. We also um, have the gearbox of the Ferrari together with the um, Ferrari rear suspension which meant we had to move uh, the rear suspension by about 40 mm further backwards. There have been key changes on the technical relation for 2018. Um, uh, the most important one is the integration of the halo roll structure. Um, this is a titanium frame of about 7 kg in weight. Um, it was quite a task for the designers to integrate the structure um, into the monocoque. Uh, you can imagine that the attachment points have to withstand quite some substantial loads. Um, this structure has to undergo a static load test of about 150 kilonewton. There is a development plan in place for 2018. We are going to introduce major upgrades on the aerodynamic package. There will be new floors and new front wings and perhaps also new bodywork elements being introduced. Um, we split those in the beginning, so the first half of the season, to some particular races and later in the second part of the season there will be also some key upgrades um, presented.